Newby Reference Bible. It is the single column reference Bible, New King James by Ritchie uh, Publishing uh, in Scotland. Um, quite a well-known Bible in the King James uh, circle, the Newbury. has all the uh, notes and references and grammatical um, explanations from uh, Thomas Newbury. And just a little bit about this particular uh, binding then. This is a uh, calfskin uh, leather binding with a, uh, a synthetic liner which is pasted down. It's very nice though. The cover is uh, got a nice grain to it. You can probably see that. And it's quite pliable um, and, uh, and, and good to hold. The Bible has good um, flexibility to it in that cover which is nice. The Bible is, um, it's not a small Bible, it's, uh, it's, it's bigger than my hand, my hands aren't big, but um, it's certainly a Bible that, um, that you would need to carry around in a case or in a bag etc or have on your desk or it's nice in the lap as well but it's not uh, super portable but then again it, it is a, uh, a single column reference edition and it does say that it is large they refer to this as large print um, not too sure that that's entirely accurate it's 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 decent print but I wouldn't call it large um, so just to go into it um, a bit more you have the um, the various important pieces of information there printed in Korea but um, it's certainly a good quality print and also very good quality paper this is not thin India paper this is reasonable um, uh, paper obviously you've got some um, ghosting coming through there uh, on that picture uh, as you can see but it's not it's not super bad uh, here you have the introduction to the Newbury where it explains all the, the different benefits that you're getting from the uh, grammatical um, uh, pieces of information in this Bible the, the tenses uh, and whatnot um, and then to get into the, Bi the Bible itself, it's printed like that. Uh, as you can see, this is readable. Um, it uh, has the columns on the outside, which contain notes referring to the letters and symbols uh, in the text. Um, and it is surrounded, every page of the Bible is surrounded by this frame, which uh, Newbury lovers um, tend to like. Uh, not a Bible that you could make a great deal of notes in, if any, to be honest. It is more of a, you know, reading Bible. Um, the single column, as you can see, is quite, uh, is quite nice. I've never been a, a super big fan of single column, purely because I tend to lose myself in reading across like that. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because of the symbols and the typeface, but a normal book is fine, but when I'm reading a Bible, this if this is single column, it really needs to be clear um, and bold, um, or else I lose my uh, lose my place with it. Perhaps something like the ESV single uh, column um, legacy Bible that's certainly a lot better to read in single column because it's clearer and there's not as much ghosting. There's no symbols or references in this Bible. Um, so it is a lot clearer to read in the single column format. However, this is, as you can see, a little bit more uh, archaic, shall we say. Um, but it is it is nice. There is a nice art gilt on the Bible. You can see that there. It's That's where the uh, edges of the paper have the red dye under the gold. So you get that nice effect uh, there. And and the Bible is is very very good. Here's the poetic uh, section in in the Psalms. As you can see, it's laid out in that paragraph style format. There are certain words in bold, which again relate to uh, notes and, and items of uh, of significance or or of, or of note. Um, the New Testament is not a red letter, as you can see. There is some uh, notes between the Old and New Testaments, which are. Um, which are of some interest if you're a Bible student and you're interested in the original languages, as Nubri was, the Hebrew and the Greek. Um, and in the back we have 
not a great deal but we do have some nice maps uh, as you can see I've done a pen test here just to see what the uh, pilot GTEC C4s are coming out like and, and as you can see it's it will take the thin um, GTEC C4 but uh, I'd be loath to use anything else on there um, and then we have some helps in the back as you can see we have um, the history um, the Bible uh, is separated into those dispensations um, you have the the offerings you have the feasts of Jehovah Jewish calendar months we have the uh, names of Jehovah there I have a little graphic which is nice of the tabernacle and the temple um, and the poetic books the parables of the kingdom um, and so on and so forth uh, something about Paul's pattern prayers there the journeys of Paul um, the seven churches of Revelation uh, they're outlined which is quite uh, quite useful quite different not seeing that in um, another Bible of mine um, so yeah quite a nice uh, book quite a nice binding the two ribbons are okay the headbands are okay it feels it's a nice Bible in the hand um, it's a it's a good sized Bible it's by no means pocket or personal size but uh, it certainly uh, got a lot in there and Bible students uh, who are serious about their study and, and drilling down into the original language to get all the meaning out of that will appreciate the Newbury marginal um, notes and uh, and helps. So that's the uh, that's the Newbury single column reference edition large print from Ritchie Publishing, and uh, this has been another test for BurtonBibles.com.